So far, we have learned one method to uh, find the area of a triangle, all right, and that was half times base times height, all right. I mean, if I have a triangle, let's say this is my triangle, all right, and this is the base of the triangle, all right, with which I'm docking, and this is the height, all right. So let's say this is our height, and the method to find the area, what we have learned, the area of the triangle, generally we represent by the small triangle the area, that is half times base times height but my dear friends what about if you do not have this height in the case where we are not given this height we are only given the sides of this i mean this side this side and this side means all the three sides are given then how to find out the area of the triangle that we're going to find out all right and that formula is called heron's formula it has been uh, discovered by a great mathematician heron alexander heron something uh, i'm not i know the full name uh, well so how to do it let's go further let's say we have a triangle let's say a is the first side length similarly b is the second side length and c is the third side length uh, just for proving we have to take a height uh, just for a while all right so let's say the height of the uh, this triangle is h all right and now uh, how to find the uh, how to find the area of the triangle so our classical method to find the area of this triangle is uh, half times base times the height this simply means 1 by 2 times our base is here c all right so it's c and our height is here h so it's h we know c but the h will not be given i already said that we are only given the three sides a b and c so how to find the h so to find the h uh, as as i have this height height is always perpendicular to the base all right so i have to suppose let's say this is uh, x length so definitely this will be c minus x all right this length and now i have a two right angle triangle the first right angle triangle is this part all right this is the first right angle triangle let's say this is right angle triangle one and this is right angle triangle two so in right angle triangle one you will see that hypotenuse square square of the hypotenuse that is a square a square will be equals to uh, the base square plus the perpendicular i mean plus the opposite I mean it will be x square plus h square similarly in the second triangle what do you get uh, you'll get the hypotenuse square that is b square will be equals to the base square that is c minus x whole square c minus x whole square plus the perpendicular square that is h square all right and now by solving this we'll get the value of x from here and then we'll replace the value of x. I mean, I'll put the value of x in this equation, and so that uh, in this in this equation or any one or or in this equation, so that I will get the value of h. So let's try to uh, let's try to find the value of x. For that, I'm going to opt uh, eliminating method, or you can just substitution value also. You can put. I mean, from first equation you get the value of h squared, and then put into the second equation. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to do the limiting method all right uh, so here this plus h square and minus h square this will cancel up all right and so i'll be left with a square minus b square equals to x square minus c minus x whole square so further i'm going to get a square minus b square equals to x square minus now c minus x all square that is that will work as a minus b whole square so i'll get a square and minus 2ab I mean minus 2cx and this minus will multiply minus so it will be plus 2cx and then plus x square and this when this minus will multiply this plus x square it will be minus of x square all right and in this case you can cancel this plus x square and minus x square so you will be left with a square minus b square and this minus c square will go into the left hand side and it will be plus c square and that is equivalence to 2cx and as i told you we need to find out the value of just x so i'm just going to put the value of x here i'm just i'm going to place x equals to a square minus b square plus c square divided by 2c this 2c is going to divide this whole quantities all right so we get the value of x and now in the from the first equation you know from here this is our h square simply h square i can easily write that a square minus x square and he, this is a square and the x square value we just put it here I mean we just get the value let's put the value of x here so this is going to be now I'm just going to copy and the paste there right so it will be a square minus b square plus c square 
divided by 2c and square of that okay so this is h square you know so simply if I will get h then it will be square root of this whole quantity so our h is going to be a square minus a square minus b square plus c square over 2c and then whole square inside the root hey we got it you know we know already c and we know the h now let's plug the value and let's try to get the all uh, area I mean the area of the triangle so it's 1 by 2 it's c and then times h so the value of h we recently get it so I'm just trying to copy this and put it over here all right so it's going to be now a square minus a square minus b square plus c square divided by this is 2c whole square so you can write 4c square all right and this is square and this is inside the root so you know uh, now calculation is going to be so much complex so uh, what I'm gonna do uh, this is inside the root so uh, I cannot take out the root now I can cancel the root so what I'm going to do for easy calculation I'm also putting these things inside the root so for that I can easily write c square that is c square over 4 all right and then times because c square uh, over 4 the square root of these things will be c by 2 all right so uh, that's what I'm, I'm saying now and this is the same thing you know so this is also a square root and now this is also a square root so it's going to be simply multiply each other a square minus a square minus b square plus c square divided by 4c square all right and this is square just upper portion and now see uh, distribution law I mean this quantity is going to multiply this first and then it will multiply this first all right so let's first multiply this so it's going to be now uh, c square times a square over 4 and now further it will multiply this quantity so it's going to be c square over 4 times this whole things that is a square minus b square plus c square and then uh, let me shift it a little and then square and divided by 4 c square and see here something is getting cancelled c square and c square will cancel up and now these all things are inside the root okay keep in mind that so it's going to be now uh, ac over uh, 4 ac square over 4 so that is ac over 2 to the power 2 minus now it's going to be a square minus b square plus c square divided by 4 into 4 divided by 4 square and these all things are inside the root and now uh, one thing is here see uh, here is 4 and the square here is 2 square so uh, always you know try to make the same so that is more better and better so what I'm gonna do to make it uh, to make it therefore I'm going to divide by 2 and I'm going to multiply by 2 I mean I, I multiplied by 2 in numerator as well as in denominator right so simply it's going to be now uh, I can simply write as a 2ac you know 2ac whole square over 4 all right so uh, it's going to be now uh, a square minus b square you know we, we, it's something like you know p square minus q square the formula for the p square minus p square is p minus q times p plus q so the same thing I'm going to use here and I'll be I'll be getting here now 2ac now 2ac over 4 is I mean a I mean uh, I mean this is this this p minus q so minus this whole quantity that is a square minus b square plus c square divided by 4 one thing and now p plus q I mean p minus q we finished let's do p plus q so this is our p that is 2ac over 4 plus a square minus b square plus uh, c square divided by 4 all right and these all things are inside the root let's go further and now see the base are same so we can take the LCM we can we can uh, put them together so it's 4 all right and it is 2ac minus a square and when this minus multiply by this minus it will be plus b square and this minus multiply by this plus so it will be minus c square times now same we can take the LCM here let's take uh, LCM so it is 4 2ac as it is and then plus a square minus b square plus c square and these all things are inside the root further if you look uh, you know this is 2ac I mean there is some relationship between the a and c so let's keep those together all right so first I'm writing this b square b square and then this is plus 2ac but before that I'm taking here minus a square so I'm taking common so it is now minus a square and this minus is taking common in c square also see so, so uh, 
it's gonna be plus uh, c square and this plus 2ac all right so that will be now minus 2ac all right because minus is here when this minus will by this minus 2ac it will be plus 2ac so that's why this is plus 2ac and when this minus will by a square it will be minus a square minus will by plus c square so it will minus c square as it is all right divided by 4 I just tried to do because of this AC is together right and here again AC is together so we need to keep A and C together so I'm doing the same thing A square plus C square and this plus 2AC it's plus 2AC all right oh come on it's plus 2AC and uh, further this minus B square all right minus B square divided by 4 and again these all things are inside the root further if you see now b square minus now now isn't this like p square plus q square minus 2 pq all right i mean i mean uh, the formula what you had learned that is x square plus y square minus 2xy is equals to x minus y whole square so the same thing i'm doing to do here x square plus y square minus 2xy that is x minus y that is a minus c whole square all right divided by 4 and the same thing is here is x square y square plus 2xy that is a plus form i mean x plus y all right i mean a plus c it will be a plus c it's simple algebraic rules i'm following here minus b square over 4 and again these things is inside the root further let's go now uh, again a square minus b square i mean this whole thing one thing is square minus another thing is square algebraic rule that is that is like you know x square minus y square as we used initially that is x plus y x minus y again we're going to repeat so it's going to be minus b minus a plus c all right a minus b and now a plus b that is b plus these things a minus c all right divided by 4 and further here a plus c and then once we need to take minus all right and next time we need to take plus so it is a plus c plus b divided by 4 these all things are inside the root now here we need to take care a little now see here this is plus b minus a plus c what i'm gonna do here see here a plus b plus c and here a is minus right so i'm writing here twice of minus a by doing so see what i'm going to get uh this a plus b plus c is representing me perimeter all right and later in uh, in in in, in uh, heron's formula we have the perimeter semi perimeter we have so first we need to get perimeter and then we'll go to the semi perimeter so i just try to write those all things into the form of perimeter so while writing this i get this thing see a plus b plus c see plus a minus 2a that is minus a which is here plus b is here plus c is here no problem same thing i'm going to do here now c is minus so it will be minus 2c so a plus b plus c minus twice of c by doing c is here a is plus as it is b is plus as it is now plus c and minus 2c that's minus c which is here similarly here b is minus so i'll write a plus b plus c and minus twice of b by doing c is here again plus a is as it is and plus c as it is and now minus b plus b minus 2b that's minus b all right and it's a plus c plus b that is simply a plus b plus c and whole divided by how much we have four times four that is 16 all right and these all things are inside the root and one thing let me tell you one thing here now in our triangle if you see it's a plus b plus c what is that that's simply the perimeter you know a plus b plus c is simply the perimeter okay so this a plus b plus c is simply perimeter minus 2a again a plus b plus c perimeter minus 2c a plus b plus c that is again perimeter minus 2b and this is simply perimeter all right and divided by 16 okay let me tell you once again one thing uh what we write recently a plus b plus c equals to perimeter we write all right so if i'm dividing here and here also so it's going to be half of the perimeter that is called semi perimeter and semi perimeter we represent in heron's formula by later s all right so now what i'm gonna do this 16 I'm going to split into the four terms here 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 and here so it's going to be now p minus 2a over 2 and simply p minus 2c over 2 and again p minus 2b over 2 and again p over 2 this 16 has been divided into the uh, four times two you know two times two four four times two eight eight times two sixteen all right and these all are under the root and now look at here p over 2 minus a all right 
P over P by 2 minus C, P over 2 minus B, and P over 2. These all are inside the root. And what is that? P over 2, that's our semi parameter S, all right? So it's going to be now S minus A, S minus C, S minus B, and S, simply this half of perimeter. So let's write it properly now. The area of the triangle is going to be equal with simply, let him write first, semi perimeter times S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. This is the new formula that's called Heron's formula to find out the area of the triangle if you know only the three sides of the triangle. The three sides here, A, B, and C. If you know A, B, C, you can write the S also because a plus B plus C over 2 is the is the uh, is the uh, is the semi perimeter all right so let's say uh, by how, how we can use this let's say I have a triangle here let's say this is my triangle or right, let's say this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 okay this is my triangle for a while and how can I find out the area of this triangle very simple let's say this is a this is B and this is C so first to find out the triangle I need to find out the semi perimeter that is a plus B plus C over 2 that is 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 2 I mean uh, 7 plus 3 plus 4 7 plus 5 uh, 12 by 2 that is 6 all right so the triangles area is going to be now uh, s over s minus a times s minus b times s minus c all right inside the root so it means now 6 now 6 minus 3 all right and then uh, 6 minus b that is 6 minus 4 6 minus 4 and again 6 minus 5, 6 minus 5, all things inside the root. Further, if you go, uh, 6 times 6 minus 3, that is 3, 6 minus 4, that is 2, 6 minus 5, that is 1. All right, so 6 times 3, 18, 18 times 2, 36. All right, and this is going to be under root 36, that's, that's, that's 6. So 6 uh, unit, square unit, you know, whatever the unit is, square unit, that's the area of the triangle. This is how we find out that the area of a triangle without having the height of the triangle.